let's now proceed to our third objective to review and select what best maintenance strategy fits for our facilities the four maintenance strategies are run to failure preventive maintenance predictive maintenance reliability maintenance or reliability centered maintenance let us discuss the details of those strategies right strategy number one is run to failure or breakdown maintenance a good strategy if equipment is not essential to operation it is a good strategy if equipment is low value and it is a good strategy if impact operation is insignificant example is busted bulb replacement you need to let it burn before replacing it the challenge here now is for you to create the list of assets which you will categorize for run to failure strategy number two is preventive maintenance preventive maintenance is a good strategy for time-based inspection it is a good strategy for repair and replacement it is a good strategy because it is easy to set up and execute gagawa ka lang ng time-based schedule for replacement and several activity then it's okay to execute na the next strategy is condition-based maintenance or predictive maintenance predictive maintenance is a good strategy for predicting failure before it happens it is a good strategy because of its advantages over preventive maintenance due to potential cost savings from reduced man hours spent on maintenance for example is IR scanning it is a good strategy because it gives more insight to the performance and potential issues arising with the machine the approach in predictive maintenance is to execute only on the equipment that has a measurable condition and leave the rest of the equipment on other PM strategy the next strategy number four is reliability centered maintenance it was first used by boeing 747 they use the rcm based maintenance program because they value reliability so it is a good strategy because rcm is the process of determining the most effective maintenance approach it employs the philosophy of preventive maintenance predictive maintenance real-time monitoring and run to failure and other proactive maintenance techniques here's the rcm model the rcm use all strategies and use the best techniques using failure modes in summary showing to you a tabulated strategy here are the four strategies the next column is the philosophy to apply and the third column is the cost to implement this strategy from low to highest and the last column are the advantages and disadvantages of each strategy where you can weigh your decision on what strategy to use this table is very useful uh, i hope uh, i can i can send it to you in summary the best strategy is the combination of all strategies finding the right fit and the right mix to the current situation. You just need to measure the cost, plan what strategy to use, and document it over time. Let me add another key concept. Uh, here's the fifth concept. It says that the whole life of an asset can be divided into three stages. It is the early life, the mid life, and the late life. Later, we will discuss it. So, additional concept is the sixth concept wherein your decision in preventive maintenance should be based in the entire life of an asset. You should include the installation to potential failure or what we call IP interval and the potential failure to the functional failure of an equipment or what we call P to F interval over the lifespan of the asset okay the seven concept is your maintenance strategy should be plotted against time the life of an asset and the 
P to F interval. Here is the graph of the life of an asset showing warranty coverage, time-based maintenance, condition-based maintenance, and the potential and functional failure of an asset. As a maintenance personnel, you are encouraged to plot your asset in the life of an asset curve. Example, the potential to functional failure of an asphalt paving illustrated along the life of an asset curve. You can see the P to F interval. The question is, where should your PM comes in to extend the life of an asset? It should be before the potential failure and before functional failure occur. Tama, di ba? So, example number two. Uh, this example shows the illustration of waterproofing system plotted along the life of an asset card for waterproofing. You can see over time the manifestation like there is a vegetation, there, there is funding, the waterproofing degranulate or degranulation, ridging, and you can see delamination and blistering and the functional failure of the assets. This is a challenging work for a building engineer, especially if he or she is an electrical engineer. Imagine he needs to study waterproofing science. May, medyo masaya kasi uh, learning doesn't stop, okay? So another example to illustrate the concept is example number three, electrical substation. So as you can see, all major maintenance tasks was plotted on the asset deterioration curve or life of an asset curve. Your maintenance strategy comes in at point A and then point B and then point C. Your predictive strategy also in place before the potential failure happened. Your replacement strategy also should be in place. Over time, it will come to pass the P to F interval. That is the time when your replacement strategy comes into play. See the number of years that are very significant like 3 years, 10 years, 12 years, 30 years, and 40 years. The eighth concept is strategy on the P to F interval. Since our role is to extend the life of the asset, we need to apply several predictive maintenance over the P to F, P to F interval to delay the functional failure of an asset. This is the time where cost analysis is prepared because those tests are very expensive. So makikita niyo yan pag nandiyan na kayo. The ninth concept tells us to establish an asset replacement policy. This one is very important. Establish an asset replacement policy. Because over the potential to functional interval, lots of maintenance costs will drain the department's budget. Some assets need to retire in a given period of time. So it's better that engineering department should determine the useful life of an asset and create a replacement policy. A policy or document wherein all equipment are listed and categorized under failure replacement or preventive replacement as you can see from the slide. So the replacement strategy can be categorized to failure replacement and preventive replacement. Failure replacement include run to failure and unintended failure replacement. Preventive replacement include time-based replacement, age-based replacement, condition-based replacement. You can predict your annual budget if you have a list of assets based on this category. Sample distribution of assets under each of the five replacement strategies which we call the replacement mix. So, in an average dynamic building, condition replacement take 40%. That's big followed by age-based replacement and time-based next is run to failure. For the distribution of cost asset per system, the slide shows you a typical facilities where the cost of maintaining the facilities and asset was The building enclosure and loop still has the largest cost to maintain and next is the mechanical system. 
As a facility engineer, you know where to focus your budgeting. We discuss so many concepts. If you have some question, please type it in the group chat. Don't worry if my team cannot answer it directly. We will email your answer or we will answer it later. Nakakatuwa naman kasi because we are now on the last objective of this seminar. Let's continue.